Yes. Oh, thank you. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you so much. Your Highness, I just spoke with the courier now. I want you to make arrangements to take me back to the palace today. Ha! Huh. No, Your Highness! No! Your Highness, your condition is critical. And your body is not responding to treatment. Huh? Going back to the palace now is not the right thing for you to do. It's risky. Please, Your Highness. Thank God you said my body is not responding to treatment. If that is the case, what is the use of my continued staying here? Oh. Take me back to the palace. Your Highness, please. I suggest you listen to doctor's advice, please. Hmm? No, no. Your Highness. You heard all I said. Take me back to the palace today. <sighs> okay. As it pleases, my lord. Let me arrange that to the hospital with the doctor in there. Why is he? 
His Highness is taking his rest now. He's asking for the chief priest, Uduma, probably, to perform his final rites. Final rites? Final rites. Final rites. Final rites. I told you I'm afraid of this situation. Oh. This is exactly what you and Brother Connor have been saying. But the truth is that Father is dying. I don't know if you three want Father to die before you can come back. <sighs> Honestly, I am tired of all these excuses. Sandra. Mother. I guess you're talking to your brother. Yes, Mother. And it's obvious. He has given you another excuse why he's not coming back. Yes, Mother. This dear attitude is beginning to annoy me. Should anything happen to Father and they are not yet back, Mother, they will definitely have me to contend with. <clears throat> Greetings, Uduma. Greetings. I am here to see the king. Wait here. How are you from him? Okay, man, I'm the center. Then bona negate. As if you buy a no sob ya o Uno Baya Bianca never got Bibia Potia Nazo, but no bona so bia kunu suzuku, but can it be any up the big so baka Osisuku Ribain O cos in the little ribia? May the gods bless Umunato and cause her to prosper. Okay. Okay. Yes, May our women be fruitful and born at the right time according to the seasons of life. Yes, okay. yes, yes, May our youths prosper in whatever they lay their hands on. Yes, 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 Whoever wants to destroy this land. May destruction visit him early in life. He says, he says, he says, he says, he says, he may the gods watch, watch over you, your highness. Your highness. You go school. You go, do you know in the Bible that time when Elijah, Elijah was uh, living, uh, Elijah cried and said, eh, What will you give me? Eh, Elijah now threw his uh, this thing uh, and Elijah caught it. Igwe, uh, in case. Your white hair, give it to me, let me use it and have sense like you. <laughs> it's well. You will have the white hair. Mm. <sighs> I want to have sense like you. That you look and I'll be like, addressing people like you. you look come and bring the God. throne with me. <laughs> <laughs> It flows with me, can honey. Oh, 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 oh
Peace and progress, oh. It's your resources, and you will be at Behind every successful community, there is a man, oh. A man that makes things happen. Oh, oh. Behind every successful community, there is a good man, oh. A man that makes things happen. Oh. A man with supernatural wisdom and understanding. A man that cares for his people. Oh, oh. You love your people with all your heart. You oh. are a good man. The peace and progress of your people will consign you. Oh, Igwe, Igwe. Who's there? Come in. Has he eaten anything this night? Uh, yes. He tried to eat a little. All right. Give me his injection. Doctor, no, no. I don't need the injection. No, your highness. You are very weak. You need your injection, sir. Especially after taking a long journey. Please, sir. Doctor, I don't need it. You may go. And don't return. No, Father. You don't have to drive the doctor away just like that. You need injections, Father. Oh, I am okay now. I'm at peace now. All right, Your Highness. If you insist, I shall be on my way now. Okay, <laughs> how did you manage to sleep like this? I am sure last night you were discussing with your father and, you know, you decided to climb the bed and cross this leg and this leg meets this leg and the eyes meet the flesh, the flesh oh, now sorry. closed the eye and the eye went off and became asleep. <laughs> Okuri, huh? my father's hand is cold. Okuri, I said my father's hand is cold. Uh, maybe he drank uh, uh, maybe he drank cold water before he slept, so the cold water is still functioning in his system. Father. <coughs> it's okay. Um, do you know what? Uh, let us uh, quickly run and fetch the doctor to attend to him. You no? go and fetch the doctor while I watch over my hey, hey. We have to go together. As a matter of fact, you know the culture. The tradition is that you will not speak to the Igwe with your face unwashed. So you need to wash your face early morning before you can speak with the Igwe. So let us go while you wash your face and then we go and do the, fetch the doctor. So let's go. Hey, leave. Let us go. Let us go. Let's, you, you can't speak with him now. Uh, 
Yes, yes, let's go. No, no, uh, leave me. He's, he's maybe he drank excess cold water. That's the one. That, that's the reason he's. he's, 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 he's. Let's go. Let's let's hurry. Let's let's hurry. Let's move it. Let's move it. Move on, move. Come on, come on. Let's let's quickly. Don't worry, sir. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go first. It's gone. Iwe! Iwe, 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 why? Why, why now? Iwe, you, you promised me you're going to give me your, your, your white hair for me to be using. Iwe, how come? Iwe, why did you leave? Iwe, why? Why did you have to go? Why? Iwe! Iwe, Iwe, Iwe you are last night. Iwe, go. Eh? What's the problem? What's, what's going on? Iwe is going on. Iwe is going on. Iwe is going on. Iwe. Iwe is going on. Iwe! Iwe, why did you go on? Your Majesty. If we, if we stand up, let us go and discuss man to man. Let us go and let's, uh, hey! let's go and misbehave. If we, let us go and behave. Let's go and behave. If we are not your Anabagamo, we are not your Anabagamo.
That is the sign of a fallen hero. And it's coming from the palace. Hey! You go back. Hey! Hey! Baka, the great Igwe Kutri, Oko Sisi Libeyenu, Oko Similino Libeya, Agu Chekwari Obodoya, Igwe Obaka. Behind every successful community, there is a good man, oh, a man that makes things happen. Oh, a man with supernatural wisdom. It is indeed sad that the great evil core of our kingdom is no more. He has passed on to be with his forefathers. But I want you to take heart, take solace in the fact that the late King Obaka, your husband, Oko Sisi Naribeyelu, Oko Simrino Ribeya, was a man of pure heart. A man with the heart of the gods. A man with the people very close to his heart. I believe that he is now with his forefathers. Be strong, my queen. The way. The way. Be strong for yourself. For your children. And most of all, for King Obaka as a journey to be with his ancestors. <laughs> Dibé? 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 Ha <laughs> 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 
<laughs> How did you do this to me? How did you leave me there? <laughs> hey, come <laughs> What of Princess Sandra? Your Majesty. I saw her at the entrance of the Igwe's chamber. And she's crying bitterly. Please, call her for me. Yes, Your Majesty. Hi. No! Your Majesty. It's been eight full days since the demise of our king. Yet we haven't seen any of the princes of the land. What is happening? Didn't you inform them? Oh no. My elders. I have. I have severally called them, the three of them. And I even sent messages to them as well. Your Majesty. What did they say is their reason for not being here by now? Kill us. I don't know. How I wish I knew my elders. See, my princess, you don't have to be crying so that the spirit can find a, passage, a very good passage to the spirit world. At least let him rest with, the, with his ancestors. Eh? Our king needs to rest with his ancestors. So the more you cry like this, I wonder, the spirit may not find a safe passage to, to the spirit world. Eh, so stop crying. Oh? Eh, eh, my, my princess, let us, um, let us go downstairs. Eh, eh, I didn't tell you. Oja is downstairs. Oh. Ah, Oja is downstairs. I think... Eh, he has, in fact, there's this song that I composed. Eh? If you hear this song, if you hear this song, oh, fantastic. Very melodious. So, do you know when I was doing my rehearsals, a man was passing and the man said, Ah, this song is too sweet. Too. It's so sweet. That she come and sing it on his burial. I said, No, I don't sing on burials. I sing on birthdays. So let me go and sing it for you. It's your birthday, in fact. <laughs> you will like it, too. Very melodious, very sweet song. Eh? It's all right, let's go. Eh, eh, I will leave you. I will leave you. You understand? Let's go. Eh, stop crying. Ah, supposing a, a, a man who wants to marry walk into, walks into this place, I see you crying. Don't you think the man will say you're a baby? Eh? Even though I know that it's not long you dropped your feeding bottle, but that is not by, that is by the way. That doesn't mean you should be crying. Aya, come. Aya, come, 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 come. Let me go and sing the song for you. You will like it though. Eh, my princess. Also, the people are very important. You see this door. My fellow elders, I am of the opinion that we should give them two more days. If they do not come back, 
we will continue with the burial of our king according to our customs and traditions. Of course. No. I said no. No more wedding. Oh no. Your Majesty. Please you go ahead. Continue with the plans to bury the king. Have you heard? We go ahead and bury. Your Majesty. Why not we consider what Ichie Chibuza suggested and... Any other thing to be discussed? No. It's okay. No. I beg to leave. Your Majesty, we thank you. Your Majesty. What a beautiful community, oh. A land blessed with gold. O Monato, O Monato, I like how we buy the balalo, see? O Budogasa, O Budogari, O Budogabota, O Budogibota, O Budogafutu, Kadiri. Um, oh no, I still find it very hard to understand the queen's decision to go ahead and make plans for the burial of the king or is she lying about the princess maybe they have told her they will be coming sooner than expected um, um, you see, whichever way it happens let's continue with our preparations but adventure none of them returns i will become the next king oh. the next king yes. so whatever we are doing Let's not leave any stone unturned to realize this dream. Oh no, eh? you can count on me. God. I'll go ahead and hasten my end. Good. Oh no, eh? immediately I get home, eh? I will fix the remaining things. All right. And I must make sure the better takes place within the next six days. <laughs> <laughs> and I will see the two of you as my strongest allies. <laughs> yes. So why don't we move out this moment to my house to do small no. Oh, no. A, a, a chop, a chop, a chop, a chop. Please move, please. Let's hasten. I'm on a chop. I rush out by the way I was saying. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? Behind every success community, there is a commitment to reconsider your decision that makes things happen and stop Uno from making the arrangements of burying the king until the princes are back. Or have they informed you? When they are going to return, Your Majesty. The truth is that they have not. And I also know that as soon as the burial is over, without any of them being around, Onu is going to be the next king of this ancient kingdom. Then stop them for two to three days before you can lose to Onu. <laughs> I understand your concern, my elders. But you know what? I want the two of you to stop here and help Ono to make a great preparation for the burial of my late husband. Well, as your majesty pleases. Um, Your Majesty, the wish is our command. We will beg to take our leave. You love your people with all your heart. You are a good man. The peace and progress of your people will consign you. Oh, Igwe, Igwe, a gentleman. What is this rumor that I'm hearing? But you gave the orders to go ahead to organize my father's burial without my three brothers' consent. Order. Wow. 
Hi. Did I hear you say your brothers? Yes, mother. My sons. Where are they? Where are they? If they had wanted to bury their father, if they have regard for that throne, they should be around, my daughter, rather than staying in another man's country. Mother, please. You know, once this burial is over, the kingship will move from our family to Onogo's family. Mother, have you forgotten? Tell that to your brothers. They are the ones to hear this thing you're saying here now. Please, Sandra. I have a know that is going on in my mind now. I can't be thinking about your brothers who have chosen to abandon this kingdom for no reason. They want to tell me that they prefer where they are to this place, to this kingdom, to their father's throne. They are insane. Come on, man! Instead of supporting each other, no matter who be the leader, oh, yeah, yeah. Brother against the brother, oh, yeah. Oh, no, why have you summoned me here? You and I know in the next few days, the burial of our late king will take place. Yet, none of his children has returned at this moment. So you want me to crown you king? Exactly. When the burial rites are completed, exactly. right? Exactly. Exactly. Uh, you know quite well I am the next in line to climb the throne. See, why I call you here is very simple. To hasten it, a handsome reward awaits you. A very handsome reward. <laughs> oh no, do not try to corrupt the gods. Since you know you are the next in line to the throne of Omonato Kingdom, then exercise patience and restraint. Let the great and late King Obaka be buried properly first, and the gods will speak. Hmm? See, Uruma, you see, you're trying to misunderstand me. What I actually meant was to, to stop. Oh no. Like I said earlier, do not try to corrupt the gods. Wait. Oje putechi uso. Obabu umwe ya nozo. Don't even tell me to calm down. Exactly what you've been saying until father died. Yet you want his legacy to just be forgotten like that. Prince Ejindu, please, did father in any way wrong any of you by sending you overseas? Okay, now listen. If father is buried and none of you is here, then know it that we are no longer related. Finish. Finish. Sit down. Now, have there been any news about the tomb of any of the princes? No. If Princess Sandra is even threatening to cut off the other ties, if none of them comes back for the burial. Is that so? Okay, what of uh, Her Majesty Queen Gladys? Earlier today, I overheard her telling Princess Sandra that she has lost hope in any of the princes coming back for the burial. Is that so? Is that so? Um, I think you're doing great. <laughs> Keep it up. Keep it up, eh? Okay. I have to be going back to the palace before my absence is noticed. But not before I soil your hand. <laughs> you can keep this. Thank you. Lord. All right, all right. All right. Keep on doing it. Okay. Why are we going to 
Bonato Galachu Bede Bellas, we will soon. for you, but I didn't see you. I went to get sanitary pad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Next time, I'll wait for you before going. Uju. There's no problem. But next time, don't ever try this again. to be angry. Let's just go inside, freshen up, then we'll come back and meet her. Let's go. Everything has been put in place for the burial of King Obaka, uh -huh. day after tomorrow. Ichiono told me he has bought the casket today. That's all right. It's all right. But hold on. Hello? Who is it? Hello? Prisa Kuna is he? He just came back. Who was that? Who called you? Mm. Who monato? I got a message now that Akuna is right there in the palace. In the palace. Prince Akuna. How true is that? Hey! But you told me that your spy informed you that there's no sign of them coming back. The same spy just announced it to me now that Akuna is in the palace. Hey! How possible? Oh, Monato! I'm Bonari! You better be a Lucy! Hey! Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Hey! Oh! Oh! Well, you see, Mona, as a matter of fact, uh, I am sorry. 
I'm very, very sorry. It wasn't deliberate. I, we, we, well. I am not angry with you, sir. Have you been hearing from your two brothers, AGK and Ejindo? Did someone just mention my name? Oh, wow. Oh, my son. Oh, wow. You're welcome. Thank you, Mom. I'm so sorry for coming back late. I'm so sorry for coming back late. No, no, no. How are you doing? Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Oh, my daughter. Welcome home, brother. Welcome home. <laughs> Permit me to apologize for my delay in coming back to honor my father, the late king. Please forgive me. You're welcome, my prince. Your father's burial is in the next two days, and tradition demands that the king's body is not permitted to exceed 15 days in the mortuary before burial. Um, Onowo instructed three of us to come and have a meeting with you in this regard, and that is why we are here. Well, we have made arrangements for the burial of the late king. As a titled man, your father will be buried with his chieftaincy attire. We have bought a car, and uh, during the burial ceremony, the Ogeme Obioma Cultural Group will be performing. Also, as a titled man, the members of the elders in council will be in the burial. And we have equally bought a casket for the burial. So this is our language so far. Good. No, no problems. We'll proceed with the set state. But, uh, what about it, GK? Well, so far so good. So, what is the estimate or uh, estimated budget for the entire burial? Yeah, the estimate is uh, 1.2 million naira. Brother, was this for real? I mean, who are we talking about here? Some pauper? Some civil servant? Railway worker? Who are we talking about here? For crying out loud, brother, we are talking about my father, the late king, king of kings. And we cannot use only 1.3 million naira for his burial. Well, um, I am going to make a donation of 10 million naira to this effect. And also, um, as regards this, Casket, he is my father. He raised me. He raised the lion. I will personally choose a casket for him. You can return the one you bought. Greetings, my friend. Greetings, my friend. 
I can see you people are making great progress on how to bury my late father, can go back at the great. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Um, your brother has um, made a donation of 10 million naira for the burial of your father. 10 million naira. <laughs> Big brother. <laughs> what can 10 million naira do for our father's burial? Just 10 million naira. The money is for a new casket and some other logistics. Mm. So what about entertainment? Which musicians did you call? Um, we invited Okene Oyom Kuchala. Okene what? Okene Oyom Kuchala. Are there no Islamic clerics that you people invited? No. Those ones are not part of our culture. So is that all you people have for my father's burial? King Obaka the Great, the Iroko tree that the bird perches on for security, why the Animals hid under him from rain and sun. You want to bury him just like a corner. Shut up your mouth and stop insulting the earth. Mom, I am you want to give your daddy a befitting burial. Where have you been? Where have you been since all this while? Where have you been? Mom, but I'm here now. Well, the burial. Is it two days? We don't have time to prepare. Big brother, money is time. With money, we buy time. We can change everything. You know that. You see, we need the cooling van. You see the ten cows you gave her for the elders. We need four more cows for the villagers. The people of Umanata are coming to celebrate with us. Not to mourn with us. We need enough food. We need enough drinks. talking as regards my father's funeral. First of all, I need you to understand that the person we are about to bury is not just any man, not just a commoner, but a great king that has begotten three responsible and great princes, capable enough to take care of whatever the funeral will turn out to be. And I need you to understand that I am just coming from the government house where I met with the governor of the state and he told me in person that he will be there live or he will send one of his representatives. Secondly, I don't know the kind of local musicians you have invited to my father's funeral, but I want you to know that I will not settle for less. I need prominent superstars like the like of Onyenze uh, uh, or of uh, Wawambi. 
you know. And secondly, I do not want my father's corpse to be carried into this palace by commoners and, and, and villagers. I need very expensive undertakers that will carry my father's corpse from the mortuary down to this palace. And most importantly, I do not need all these local stations, you know, those village stations. I need well-recognized international media houses and TV stations. I don't know if you understand what I am saying. The person we are about to bury is a king. Your Highness, all these things are good, but I do not think that there is time for these arrangements now. Time. My elders, we have time. You know why? Because we have money. With money, we control time. With money, we buy time. With money, we own time. Give us and where is that one that was running his mouth? As if he is the only one that has ever made money in this world. Where's that Jindu? He stepped out to ease himself more. Oh, really? Akuna, what was that show off the three of you were doing over there? Don't you know that it, it, it is a waste of money? Well, brother, if you ask me, I don't think it is a waste of money. Our father, the great king, deserves to be buried in a very fashionable way. He was rich, you know. Wealthy, as a matter of fact. He should not be buried like a poor man. Besides, I heard also that you know had his eyes on the throne. I wanted him to see the caliber of men, the caliber of people he would have been up against. Well, the three of you shut up your mouth and stop blaming on Owu. Oh, you children want to tell me that you have regard for the throne. You want to tell me you have regard? If you have regard, how come you people did not come back on time? You would have come back early enough. Mom, please, allow us to give our father a befitting burial. He deserves it. We are all here now. And who has the key to Father's bedroom? Good. I want to People killing each other. Oh no. What are we going to do now that the three princes are back? Oh no. I suggest you drop the ambition. These boys are very rich. Besides, you have no money to stand up with them. That is true, or no? That is true. Two of you, leave me this moment. Why are we killing each other instead of supporting each other? No matter who be the leader. Yeah, yeah. Brother against the brother. Nation against nation. People killing each other. Umune ato. Garacha. Ube etebere arosi. When we obagara. When we obagara.
God is God. A legend is God. No. Mama yo, Mama yo. The great Iroko has fallen. Mama yo, Mama yo. If to say people can live forever, oh. Igwe Ubaka, we wish you could live forever, oh. Your legacy will live forever, oh. Mama yo, Mama yo. Your memories cannot be forgotten. Nah, nah. Mama yo, Mama yo. If to say people can live forever, oh. Igwe Ubaka, we want you to live forever, oh. The legacies you left behind cannot be forgotten. The good, good things where you do oh, cannot be forgotten. Our prayers, our prayers. It's for God to give your successor oh, a good heart like yours. Oh. Our prayers, yo, 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 yo. our prayers. It's for God to give your successor oh, a listening ear like yours. Oh. Our prayers, our prayers. It's for God to make your successor oh, as productive as you are. Oh. Honey, so it is true that you and your brothers, you are competing on who would give the most money for your father's burial. I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand. What, I mean, competing? Absolutely not. You see, my brothers and I are trying to give my father, the great king, the best burial that there is that he can get. Or oh, they are trying to influence the elders so that they can make them king over you, the first son. Friends, what are you talking about? I mean, where are you driving at? Do you ever understand? Eh? See, Prince Akuna, you gave 10 million naira for your father's burial, right? Yes. What's 10 million naira be enough for an ordinary burial? But to show you that they have ulterior motives, they decided, what's his name again? Um, Ejike gave 20 million naira. And Agent you gave 25 million naira. And you're trying to tell me that they don't have anything behind that. Well, uh, you see, my father, the late king, Ubaka, told. He told so much to raise his soldiers. And as such, we are going to do everything and anything in our power to give you a benefit in there. See, let me tell you. Don't see anything wrong with what is happening. Hmm? Don't see it. But let me tell you something. If you ever lose that throne to any of them, you would have me to contend with. Angel. Thank you. You're welcome. And you, I can see you like looking all royalty <laughs> and, you know, to make a fine, fine king one day. Well, it is not my fault. I am a prince and it is only expected of us to dress like princes. Uh, As a matter of fact, I admire the throne, but unfortunately, my brother Akuna is here. So all I can do is console myself dressing like this. It's all right. It's all right. That's okay. No problem. We'll see you when we get back, right? One more thing. Please do not come back empty-handed. <laughs> I promise. You won't. Okay. See you, bro. All right. I'll see you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. And you say you don't see 
the motive behind him donating a whooping 50 million naira for an ordinary burial. I mean, isn't it obvious that he and Ejindu are competing for the throne for your birthright? Even before the will is even read. That is if there was any will to be read. Ejil, stop. Stop, Ejil. You see, um, as a matter of fact, uh, I love my brothers. And for all I can remember, we do things together. No one has shown any sign of being greedy. Only that, this time, this time they are trying to outsmart you. And you are too blind to see it. I mean, I want to be king someday, only that. I'm too unfortunate to have Akuna as an elder brother. You are now an unfortunate being in aging this life. Think! Why, the other guy, Paul? Sweetheart, the other guy is here about Paul. Let's leave this place. We're late. We're running late.
Maka Oko Simini no Kori Beya O Sisi Uku Rini Beya Elu Nukute Mawa Alu Sina Ibaro Ozibo Igwa Ubaka No
doctor who be the leader, oh, yeah, yeah. Brother against the brother, oh, oh yeah, because of power, oh. Nation against the nation, oh, yeah, oh. because of power, oh. People killing each other, oh, oh yeah, because of power, oh. Nakata everywhere, all because of what? Oh, yeah, because of power, oh. Kings are born, they are not made, yo. I say kings are born, they are not made, Take your body and give it to the last privilege. They are not made, yo. Now only God do they make king, yo. Now only God do they make king, yo. Yeah. Who God bless, no man can curse, yo. Who God bless, no man can curse, yo. Who God lift, no man can bring, that man. I say, who God bless, no man can come. What is the whole thing this life where she should find out? How will she find out? She will not find out. See, I have an assignment for you. Hmm? You are going to use this to poison the three princes. Mm. Eh? Mm. You can do it. Mm -hmm. You can do it. Simply putting this in their drinks when they are guards. It's on the fences. You understand? Know you can do it. Let me tell you. Your mates have done this before. And they are eating big in places. There's a mouth watering price that will go with this. Oh? It's a very simple way. The way it works, if you put it, nobody finds out until about 12 hours when everybody must have disappeared. Oh, take. Don't, don't you think they will find out that I'm the person? Nobody will find out that I'm giving you that assurance. I want to ask you again, eh? how much do you think mates earn in a year, in five years, in ten years? Nothing. And they remain mates forever. But with this and the price that goes with it, you can fly out of the country and go and establish a business somewhere. Oh, think about it. Take, do it. I'm behind you. You will achieve it. Take, you will achieve it and become a different human being elsewhere or still within the country if you like. Oh, you can do it. Oh, Monato, Galachi, better will I lose it? You so good at it. Oh, Monato, Galachi, better will I lose it? You so well, where they? Rasa, are they? Ibu Kriti, Buku, where Bata, Rasa, and Toto, and where Bata, eh? Came back, all of you are seeing me as a jebo. Huh. I'm, I'm a dancer. <laughs> when Bedou and her body like this, I will dig it away. <laughs> Forget, I'm a dancer. <laughs> Did you even see the way my husband was dancing? Um, he couldn't even move his waist. No <laughs> 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 oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I can see you for a very long uh, the love of all the ch 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 the girls can go say. Uh, by the way, where is the jindu? He's outside with some of our maternal uncles. Oh, okay. How long will it take these girls to bring an ordinary juice back? I don't Please, who is there? These girls are so sluggish. Please, who is there? My princess, I called. Please check what the juice is doing in the kitchen. Oh, 
fight, I mean, it's about to fight. You better know it's a success. <laughs> Go tell it on the mountain. Wherever he is right now, he will be proud. Very proud. Very proud. <laughs> Very happy to. <laughs> uh, but um, please, please, let me sound this. That even though uh, my brother here in GK wasn't able to dance, I mean, <laughs> move his waist, his body was dancing. <laughs> He may go for more work now. these days. Who could be making her cry like that? What is it? Maybe her boyfriend has dumped her. What? Haven't you noticed that Uju has been sneaking out of this palace these days? Who knows where she usually go to? United and peaceful community, oh. A land, a little Mary has blessed. Yeah, yeah. Soon, Ukuwe will announce their sudden death, and I will become the king. Princess Sandra is such a beautiful woman. Once I become king, I will take her as my wife. Umunato, a racha ube de berarose, we Omunato aracha ube de beraru si wengu obagara 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 Brother against the brother oh because of our nation against nation because of our people killing each other oh because of our everywhere all because of what Kings upon they are not made yo. I say kings upon they are not made yo. Now only God they make you. Hey you. Call a courier for me. Who God bless no man can come so. Corey, what happened? No, nothing. Nothing happened. I, I just, I, I, I came to, 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 to pick my, I, some of my, I found my, my briefcase and my, my ecolag, my box and some of my shoes and slippers and belt. You know, even though some of the belts have are cut, some shoes I adjusted, but they are still, you know. So I came to pick them so that I can. Oh, Korea. Eh? Where have you been? After my father's burial, I haven't set my eyes on you. Okay, my prince. Uh, it's a simple question. Uh, Okuri said, where have you been? 
the prince is asking where have you been tell the prince where you have been all right my prince it's a very simple uh, question that you know <laughs> i have the answer simply uh, my prince you know very well that um, your father the late Igwe, you know employed uh, oja and i to always be around him so i said in fact after his death oja left you know and uh, retired back to wherever he came from so i said to myself that hence the Igwe, your father is no more let me go back to my old life or old uh, this thing that i was doing so i had to retire back to my old uh, life so that is at the you know that is weird. my mother told me that you and oja we didn't do anything no we didn't do anything you served my father very well as a matter of fact i i would retain you here in this palace as my mother's personal jester, which means that your duty here is to constantly make my mother happy. Ah, that one of my talents. Ah, that one, I, I, I'm sure there is one thing I am telling myself that I've not gotten the answer. Even though I did not ask my mother about it, but something is telling me that the moment my mother conceived me, eh, she began to take her bracha. Sometimes, you know, this bracha, when you take it sometimes, it makes you fall into iberiberism and you begin to do it So. I, I, I noticed that I was wumbling in the tummy. I was in my mother's belly. Oh, I, eh? I was even playing football. Tum -tum. <laughs> if you accept my proposal, whatever my father, the late king, paid you, I would double it. <laughs> Sir, you heard me. You see? I said that whatever my father, the late king, paid you, I will double it. And one more thing, please. Find Oja. Bring him back here. Tell him that the same thing applies to him. Oja will be very happy. Because Oja, in fact, he will be very happy to come back to this place. Get at least the way he eats. I'm sure you'll be missing the food from the palace. Give me a favor, uh, Yes, sir. sir? Get back to work. I never. My uniform. My uniform. When you have uniform, you saw my uniform. Where's my regalia? This is authority for my boo. You heard it. He gave me the mantle of leadership. Wow. Who is pushing Move. me? Who is pushing me? Move. The prince will hear you too. These church people will you ever give peace to the neighborhood? Every time noise pollution, noise pollution. So what are you talking about? That you couldn't carry out this small, simple assignment after I paid you a hundred thousand naira. Simple thing, put the thing in their drinks. That's all. That's all. I am sorry, sir. But we also want old never to hurt the royal family. And Her Majesty the Queen has been kind to me. I can't repay her with such wickedness. Mm. I'm sorry. After you took my money, after I paid you a, a some short sum, eh? Hey! Oh, Monato! Oh, Monato! I got you better with Alice. Oh, but wait, sir. Oh, Monato! I got you better with Alice. Well, Lacha. Oh, but it's all right. But. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Sorry? Sorry? I have an assignment for you this afternoon. This afternoon. When I come, I tell you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I've been around. Hey, he's Okuri. Okuri. Uh, Okuri, that's my father's uh, personal uh, guard and also his jester. I've served him for so many years now. Why do you ask? Well, I saw him downstairs with Prince Ejindu, and from what I saw, the position that they were in, I think he was trying to incite him or something. Yes. And they're still there now. 
the downstairs now. Who God bless no man can cause you. Who God bless no man can cause you. Who God bless no man can bring. Oh, here she comes. We will find out today where she usually goes to. Yeah, Uju. Where are you coming from? Are you talking to me? No. To my ancestors. Where do you usually go to every night? And why should I tell you girls anything? Why? <laughs> you have to tell us. Yeah. If not, I will go and report you to Her Majesty that you've been sneaking out of the palace wall. Yeah. Oh my dear. Can we all go and report to Her Majesty? Let us tell Her Majesty how you've been sleeping with Chima. Hey, hey don't pretend. And you. I don't know how you felt when Chima left you for her. Let us go and watch our dirty lilies in front of the majesty. Nonsense. You're asking me a question. Is that true? Uh -uh. Chima ah. left me for you. Do you have any What of you? Answer yourself. You're mm. like serious. You mean Chima left me for her? Will you ask me? Like me. <laughs> Uh-uh! Am I the Chima? Hey! Oh. 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 with all due respect, damn, educate. I want you people to assist me. Help me, I implore you to ask Ejindu, my little brother, why? I mean, the reason he has been going about influencing the elders and Okuri. Do you want them to crown you king over me? I don't understand what you were talking about. Why would I want to influence the elders or Okuri? Why? You may claim ignorant. But I tell you, stay clear of the throne. It is not your birthright. It is mine. Akola. Calm down. Tell us what happened. What is it? Educator is nothing to tell that this idiot right here doesn't know about. This idiot who referred to me as an unfortunate brother. I will take everything from you, Akunda. But not insult. Let me tell you something. You had better go and ask questions. What happened to that fly? Who refused to listen? Ask the Jindu. Did you refer to us, your brothers, as an unfortunate? I will not call my own blood brothers unfortunate. I don't know why he's misinterpreting what I meant. The Jindu. There is nothing like misinterpreting you here. If you have forgotten, let me remind you that Akuna is still your elder brother. And you should accord him with that respect. You should accord him with that respect. And you don't have to refer him whatever may be your reason, whatever you think will be your reason. You don't have that right to refer him as an unfortunate brother. I never refer to anyone as unfortunate. No, mother, let me bring you up to speed. Have you ever wondered why he came back with hugs? Did AJK come back with hugs? Did I come back with hugs? But he came back with hugs to battle for the throne. But I'll, I'll tell you, stay clear. It is my birthright. Hey, Jindu. <laughs> you don't have anything to say. You don't have any excuse or whatever. Mother, talk to your son. Son, listen to your mother. That throne belongs to me. Stay clear. If you want me to scream, I will scream. If you want me to whisper, I will whisper. I'm gonna come down. No, mother! Whichever one you want. I will sit on the throne and after me, AGK comes. When the day, the time will come. I could not! Yeah, yeah. Brother.
against the brother, oh, yeah. because of power, oh. nation against the nation, oh, yeah. oh. because of power, oh. people killing each other, oh, yeah. because of power, kata, kata everywhere, all because of what, oh, yeah. because of power, oh. Kings are born, they are not made, yo. I say kings are born, they are not made, yo. Now only God do they make king, yo. Now only God do they make king, yo. Who God bless, no man can cause, yo. Who God bless, no man can cause, yo. Would you? Would you? Would you? Would you? Would you? What happened? Would you wake up? Would you? towards your father's throne. Mother, why will I be making advances towards the throne? Why? Isn't it obvious that Akuna is the first child of this family? It is his right to be king after my father. So why will I make advances towards the throne? Why? But Akuna thinks you have been seeing the elders and Okori concerning your father's throne. Mother, I won't deny the fact that I've been having meetings with different elders, but not as regards the throne. I have no business with the throne. I am not interested in it. For crying out loud, I just buried my father. Don't you think it is necessary to meet with the elders to know the outcome of my father's burial? Must it be about the throne? Mother, please, I do not want you to be worked up. I don't want you to be angry. I don't want anything to bother you. Listen, my brothers are just scared. They're just threatened by my presence. And they feel I have more than what it takes to take the throne from them, but I am not interested. The reason I called Okoria back to this palace is because of you, mother. Look at you. Ever since our father passed on, I hardly see you smile. You've been frowning, you've been angry. So that's why I called Okoria to come back to the palace so as to make you happy, to constantly tease you, make you a happy queen. That's it, mother. Ejinto. <sighs> mother. Let your intentions be just as you rightly said it, if I find out that you are there for mischief, oh my word, Ijindu, I will not take it lightly with you. Oh, Mother. Mother, look at me. Do I look like a prince of mischief? No. Please, Mother, I am not interested in the throne. This is terrible. Where did you find her? My prince. We found her along the corridor. This was where we screamed that the guards brought her here. It has not been long she died. Was 
in this palace. Oh my lord. Mm. Who must have had the mind to do this? Ah. Oh my word. Mm. Contented with how much you have come. Please, my love. I want you to stay away from this tussle. I don't want you to have anything to do with the royal throne. Please. Okay. Uh, it's okay. I've heard you. But I also wanted to know that this throne you're talking about is part of my destiny. I know. I'm not the first child. Is a and I'm not dragging it with him. But if tomorrow I'm called to rule, why not? I would accept the offer now. That is if you're chosen. But for now, please. Okay. Leave the throne for your elder brother, Prince Akuna. Mm, I beg you. It's okay, I beg you. Hmm? Come here. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yes, my You're okay, my man. Sonny? I want to commend you for the elimination of Uju. That was a job well done. I want you to keep it up. The assignment that has reared this, this moment is the issue of the three princes. I want to claim this throne, not them. Anything that will make you... The three of them, do it. You've done it before. You can do it well again. I want to climb the throne any moment from now. Is that clear? Oh, no. Eh? How do you want it done? How I want it? This moment. If you can't achieve it this moment, then next moment. If not, let it not pass today. Oh, no. Uh -huh. I must go. Soon, you will receive the news of their death. Ubunato, Aracha, Ubunato, Ubunato, Baka. Nyasa, go ahead. Bring results to me. I trust you. You've been doing it before. Thank you very much. Oh, Munato, Araja, we made the Arabs. We put away Basa. We put away Basa. Good. Your Highness, I'm glad to be here. Your Highness is Prince Akunna Obaku. So glad to be Prince Ejinu Obaku. Prince Ejik Obaku. And Princess Samuel Obama, I greet you. This is the will written by our late Igwe, which was dated on the 28th day of March 2018. Hearing opened, I'll read to all. My daughter, Princess Sandra Obama, and the entire elders in council, after 15 days of my burial, including my prince, the princess, and my wife, my highness, must be present while this will is being read. Firstly, the money in my Zenit Bank account with the account number 226-8876-2826 with the sum of 18 million naira belongs to this kingdom. It is their money of which I have been keeping for them. For my other accounts, 500,000 naira is to be given to each elders, and on no 1 million naira. And the rest of the money will be used to build civic center for the kingdom, safe travels, and full transportation company. And the sum of 50 million naira belongs to my first son, Akuna Obaho. 
Obaku's electronics company and the sum of 30 million naira belongs to my top son, AGK Obaku. From Obaku's estates at Abana community. Five buildings to Akuna, my first son. Three buildings belongs to Ejindo, my second son. Two buildings belongs to my third son, H.K. Ubago. Why one building belongs to my daughter, Princess Sandra Ubago, with a sum of 30 million naira. Okori and Ojadili, my jester and my trusted servants, receive the sum of 1 million naira and a quarter in the palace. Obaku farm plants belongs to my wife, Her Majesty Queen Gladys, with a sum of 10 million naira, and the throne, the throne of Umunato Ancient Kingdom, belongs to my son, <laughs> whom I see my father in him. Have you people ever wondered why he is close to me? My son, Prince Ejindu, is the only one amongst my sons who knows the tradition of this kingdom. And for that, he is the one that will succeed me on this throne. Nonsense. I grant nonsense. Bow down, Ash. I am the first son, and it is my right to be the next king of this ancient kingdom. Mother, why you talk to him? Your Highness. Are you sure? Your Highness. Stop. My husband said all these things and you lose all of them. Are you sure? Your Highness, your husband, the late Igwe, told me categorically that the throne is never hereditary. It is the late king that chooses his successor. Yes, I As if you do a show, the what nonsense are you talking about? What power that are you talking about? But all my life, I have dreamt of nothing more than to rule the kingdom of Amarato. Now tell me, how can my father, the late king, the lion, how can he bypass me, his first son, the first fruit from his loins? How can he bypass me and then favor this? Tell me how. Conspiracy. And you do you bribe them to right? That's an absurd thing to say, Akuna. How could you accuse me of altering father's will? Then who did? If you did not, who did? Oh! Tell us who did. As long as I'm concerned, I was far as the he was still alive. How come he did not choose Akuna? Not even me, Ejit. You, Ejit. You. Why are you two accusing me wrongly? Why? Um, Barrister John, please, tell this royal household, especially my brothers here, that I have nothing to do with Father's will. Tell them the truth. What truth do you want him to say? What truth? Aside the three of you in this palace, who else goes out except you? Will you shut up? Tell us where you've been going to. Shut up! Who invited you into this matter? Do you understand that this is the king's affair? Mind your mouth. Akuna, please. Want your wife to stay clear of the family business. Well, do if you should talk to my wife, no matter you just did. By the gods, I will watch your teeth out of your sockets. You have made a lot of threats without carrying any more. You will do no such thing. You will find out. Tell your wife to stay clear of the business of this family. It's a men's affair. Let the two of you stop it! Keep quiet! What has come over you? Akuna! You can sit down. Akuna! Sit down! Ejindu! You sit! Sit down! Sit down, sit down there! My friend, sit! Mr. John, 
Your Highness. I want you to tell me the truth. The will you read, was it exactly my late husband's will? You I mean, stop. I mean his original will. Your Highness, that was the original will of the late King Ubaka. Hmm. I also want to know, did Ejindo in any way come to see you or call you on the phone concerning my late husband's will or I mean, is there anything the matter? I want to know. Your Highness, you and I know that ever since I took over as the legal advisor of the late King Obaka, I have never set my eyes on any of the princes. Except for the princess who recommended me for the late King Obaka. Barrister John. Your Highness. Barrister John. Your Highness. Are you sure? Something is wrong somewhere. Something is wrong somewhere. Your Highness, I swear on my honor. I will find out. Hmm. Hmm. Boris, you have 72 hours. 72 hours to provide my father's original will. Else, you will run into a stray bullet or a drunk driver. Is that understood? Are you away? You just threatening me, Your Highness? 72 hours. Entertain no fear, Barrister. My brother is just bluffing. What's he bluffing? Bluffing. Bluffing, my man. Bluffing. 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 Like I said, entertain no fear. All right, drive safely and see me well to your car. Sure, no problem. Hey, open the gate. who you are, no matter where you are, you'd have always... Greetings, my prince. Yeah, you must always remember home. Take home. That palace guard, do you know him? Does he work here in this palace? Yes, my prince. He works here. You may not know him because there are too many workers in the palace. Ah, uh, I see. All right, go. <clears throat> oh, hey, GK. <laughs> <laughs> you don't seem to recognize your servants anymore. Because there are so many. I, 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 as a matter of fact, I don't even know what they are doing. Most of them are just wandering around doing absolutely nothing. Yes, I understand. You know, father was so compassionate. That is why he let them stay instead of wandering the streets and bringing bad name to this kingdom. You're very correct, Ejike. Father was so compassionate. And that is why the people of this kingdom will never, ever forget, forget him. Yeah. 
What? May it rest in peace. Mm, it's there. So, where were you going? <laughs> to do my usual, no more. To pray to Allah so <laughs> he can have mercy on us. Of course he will have mercy on us. All right, bro. An icon is gone. If you tell me the truth, I will recruit you and nobody will touch you. Yes. Who sent you to kill my brother Jimmy? Is it your no? Or Akuna, you my elder brother? Speak! After the count of three, One, two. God bless no man can Why are we fighting? Why are we struggling in the quest for power? Why are we killing each other instead of supporting each other? No matter who be the leader, oh. yeah. brother against the brother, oh. nation against the nation, people killing each other, oh. kata kata everywhere. I could not say that's nothing to this extent. You, my brother, my friend, you stop pointing Did out. you try to eliminate your own brother because of the throne? Have you lost it? You tried to kill me? My friend, will you shut up and stop, stop shouting at me? Don't you have manners? Huh? I can see you've got bonkers. What does that eliminate you? Eliminate who? You? You know quite well that if I want to eliminate you, I wouldn't miss the target. Akuna. I wouldn't miss the target. Akuna. You tried to kill me! You have dead me. Wait for me, Akuna. Wait for me! I can see the kaika you'll be drinking is it has come over you. Huh? The kaika you'll be drinking has come over you. Wait for me. I'm stupid. My friend said Bapo! Akuna, you! You! You claim you have voice! I am the king of boys. Ejindu. Don't worry. Ejindu. Don't worry. Ejindu, I'll Wait teach you your me. place. Wait I will me. teach you your place. Wait for me. Wait for you. Don't you're running and you're telling me wait for you. Wait for me. You are running. Go let some others teach you manners. You don't know tradition. This is the tech. I can't be the tech if I want to be. Oh my 
Jane. Oh. Amara. So this is you. Amara, you are a very wicked girl. Even my own father's burial, you did not attend. Amara, why? I am so sorry, Your Highness. Believe me, I wanted to come. But you know this NYNC thing? Problems everywhere. I really wanted to come, but that very day was our personal day. I couldn't leave camp just like that, but I am so sorry. It's okay. I am so, so sorry. Right so, now. what you're telling me now is that you are a full graduate. Yeah. <laughs> I am now a graduate, and it feels so, so good to be done with the whole struggles. <laughs> but are you going to the palace? Yes, of course. So, why don't you join me so you can as well see the thing? I will. Wherever I am going to need to wait, I will really miss you. Nation against nation. Oh, yeah. Oh. Because of power. Oh. People killing each other. Oh, oh yeah. Because of power. Kata, kata oh. everywhere. All because of what? Oh, yeah. Because of power. Oh. Kings are born, they are not made. Yo. Oh. I say kings are born, they are not made. Yo. Oh, yeah. Now only God do they make king. Yo. Oh, yeah. Stop out! Stop this! Stop this! I thought you went out. What are you doing in the house? Calm down. Edgy, I did come for you. Edgy, I did come for you. Make way. Calm down. Calm down. What is this? What happened? What Can you it? imagine that small boy? That small boy, he did do. Sent assassins after me. Assassins. Assassins. He did do once to wipe, wipe my entire lineage. I was with my wife when they came shooting sporadically, only, only for me to dodge the bullets with my. Leave him alone! Edgy, Edgy, please. This has to end today. Yes. It ends today. Yes. Edgy, to that small boy yes. wants to kill me. He wants to kill me. Okay. Okay. Let him come out and face me. If he knows that he has a, a third functioning leg, uh, uh, leg to do this, his legs. Oh, what nonsense! Obama, Just calm down. Let's do this. Subadro. He wants to clean my village. Calm down. Okay, he wants to throw it up there. Let me see. Let me show you. <laughs> it's lovely. You like it? I like it. <laughs> Honey, this is nice. Mm -hmm. Wow. Very fine. Look at it. Very, 
Honey. Yeah? You need to apologize to your brother Kuna and his wife Angela. You shouldn't have slapped her that way. I don't understand what you're saying. As in, you want me to apologize to Angela? Why? I can't do that. See, I want that woman to understand that I'm royalty and she has to address me as one. I know. But Allah teaches us to always follow peace. Can you stop this? Please, honey. Swallow your pride and let it go. Change this. I don't like this thing you're doing. You know I don't like us having arguments. Go and check if the food is ready. I'm, I'm hungry. When the food is ready, though, come and call us. Ah. Mm. Okay. Though if you don't have anything to say, just keep going. You find this? To what do I owe this? The cost fish it. <laughs> oh no. Your Highness. <laughs> I know you have great interest in my father's story. And I also know you sent Sonny to come and assassinate us. <laughs> oh no, don't worry. Calm down. Come down, see, nobody knows about this. Just me. I'm not here to hurt you. But only I want to tell you the truth. No matter how hard you try, you can't beat any of us. Oh no, we did go. We have everything more than you. We can change this kingdom. Oh no, but I'm here to help you. I want to make it easier for you to get close to the throne. I like your daughter, no. Just let me marry her. She will become my queen. With that, you're very close to the throne. Think about it. Okay. Okay. Okay, your highness. Uh, how do I work for you? Well, since you now know I have been trust in the throne. Oh no, your highness. <laughs> you don't seem to get it. Oh no, I want this throne. I want to become the king. And you must help me to achieve it. But if you try to play smart, I will make you vanish. I will make you disappear from this kingdom. I will expose your dirty secret to the kingdom. You don't even know where the assassin you sent to kill us is. Sorry? <laughs> oh no. I will use him against you. Nation against nation. People killing each other oh, oh, yeah. because of power. Kata, kata, everywhere, all because of what? Oh, yeah. Because of power. Kings are born, they are not made. Yo. Oh. I say, Kings are born, they are not made. Yo. Oh. Now only God do they make king. Yo. Oh. Now only God do they make king. Yo. Oh. Yeah. Who God bless no man can cost. Who God bless no man can oh, cost. Yo, yo, yo. Who God lift no man can bring. Man. Man. Yeah. I say, Who God bless no man can and cost you what happened to your face you know i don't like it when you lie to me what happened to your face did i come there hit you because of what happened yesterday no, I So Akunle has the mind to touch you. Please let it go. You have to believe me. Akunle did not touch me. Akunle did not touch me. Believe me. He didn't touch me. What are we doing? Why are we killing each other?
This why you came looking for me. Did Her Majesty ask you to bring me? Not really. I came on my own. I came on your own. Well, let's go inside. No, no. Eh. See, the Queen is disheartened due to the happenings in the palace. And I'm here to beg you to help me share of the little alongside Oja. It's alright. I don't have to worry yourself. Uh, is Oja not there? No. He's not there. Okay, don't worry yourself. Go. I'll, I'll come with Oja. Yeah. Go. <laughs>
You can only admire it, but you will never, ever sit on it. And who is going to stop me from sitting on this throne? You. Ejidu. Beware, Ejidu. I will devour you, not minding. You're my little brother. Inasmuch as we all know that you are my elder brother. Before you and I, you know that you are no match for me. Most especially over this throne. You talk too much. Let's get to eat there. You lack action. You talk too much, and you don't. Nation against nation. People killing each other. Thank you. Your Majesty. Thank you very much, Ojadile. You have brightened my day. And I think I can now retire to my chambers in peace. I'm glad, Your Majesty. I'm glad I was able to make you happy. But please, Your Majesty, no matter the circumstances life has offered you, 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 you really need to laugh over it. Always try to laugh over it. Because it helps to keep you healthy and stronger. Please, Your Majesty. Thank you. You're welcome, Your Majesty. I will always keep it in mind. And at the same time, I will be happy seeing you around. Tell him whenever he comes back that I have something for both of you. Thank you, Your Majesty. You know, someone looking at you praying would actually think that a nitwit like you is a spiritual and peaceful man. They wouldn't know the havoc a that like you can cause. But you know what? I'll tell you what. You think bribing the elders and the youths would make you sit on the throne. Listen here, brother. <clears throat> you can't beat me on this one. You better stop wasting your money. <laughs> don't be too confident, big bro. You can't tell. You don't even know tomorrow. You might not be in the Ah. <laughs> <laughs> 
On peut bien ainsi de bébé. Hein? <rire> Listen, if you do not know what to do with your money, I'll tell you what to do. You take your money and give it to the less privileged. We shall see. We shall see. You're, you're ready. We shall see. We shall see. <laughs> we. <laughs> Hey, GK. So all this why you've been lying to me? Why you secretly long for the throne? A hey, throne you promised me you had nothing to do with. Calm down. Eh? You have to understand this one. At the moment, this throne you're talking about is an open contest. Anybody can be king. Me, I want to be king and there's nothing anybody can do about it. You want to be king, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's see how this will play out then. Me, educate. I want to be the king and there is nothing anyone can do about it. Uh -huh. Your Highness, I know. So I want to know if you're really serious to become the next king of this our kingdom. See, if it's just threat you want to use, it won't work. Because your brother Akuna is ahead of you. He has won the support of all the elders, but he made them bounteous promises. Do you know how much he promised them each? How much? Two, two hundred thousand naira. <laughs> <laughs> why are you laughing? No, no, tell me, why are you laughing? <laughs> oh, no. Wait, my brother gave the elders 300,000 naira. 300,000? Just 300,000 naira. That's too poor. What's wrong, man? It's an insult to the elders. And our elders are bad. Okay. Oh, no. Eh? Tell the elders that I, Prince Ejike, I will give them 500,000 naira each. Otolo. Otolo. 500? Yes. And I will even give more. Once I become the king, I will give them one million naira each. One million naira? Yes. Nemike. Eh? Nemike. Anamaka. Then consider it done. <laughs> consider it done. <laughs> eh? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Eh? What about your daughter Amara? Did you talk to her about what we discussed? You know, I can't be a king if I'm not married. And I have to get married to a maiden of this land. And that maiden must be your daughter, Amara. I want her to be my queen. Majesty, I came to tell you I'll be returning to Istanbul tomorrow. Hmm. Is everything all right? Your Majesty, the King's period is over and I think it's time for me to move on. <laughs> I know. Are you not traveling back with my son, AJK? Did the two of you fight? Nothing like that, Your Majesty. I just came to inform you. Excuse me. Excuse me. Why not wait till the weekend? 
so that I'll be able to get you some gifts. Your Majesty, you don't have to worry. I've already booked my flight. Princess, I wish you a safe flight. Thank you, Your Majesty. And take good care of yourself. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you, Your Majesty. Excuse me. What a beautiful community. Oh. A land blessed with gold. Oh, oh. United and peaceful community. Oh. A land Oh, my princess, I've been looking for you. Hmm. I heard you're leaving tomorrow. Is it not too sudden? Yes, it is. I'm doing nothing here. Besides, my business needs my attention over there. I've been gone for too long. Patricia, you have workers over there who keep on sending you reports on a daily basis. So why leave you? My princess, I know. But there's nothing like my presence. Patricia, is it because of Prince GK's involvement in the puzzle for the throne? No, don't be surprised. I know he has been trying to bribe the youth of this land to support his campaign for the throne. And I know you have been telling him not to get involved. I'm sorry, my princess. I can't discuss my husband with you. Good night. A man with supernatural wisdom and understanding. A man that cares for his people. Oh, okay. oh. You love your people with all your heart. You are a good man. The peace and progress of your people will consign you. Oh, if we, if we, a gentleman. You are a good man. If they hear the cry of the poor man, you are a good man. Who God bless no man can cause you. Who God bless no man can oh, cause you. Yo, yo, yo. Who God lift no man can break a man. Who I say, who God bless no man can cause you. Who God bless no man can oh, cause you. Who God lift no man can break a man. Who God bless no man can cause you. Forward. Um, what is your name and why are you not in school? My name is Chinyo, yeah. And my people don't have money to send me to school. Are you from this kingdom? Yes, your highness. And you want to go back to school? Yes, your highness. Very well then, take us to your family house. Let's see what we can do from there. Okay, your highness. Hey you, collect that thing. Um, now yeah, I've heard all you said. But I want to assure you that henceforth your daughter will no longer sell granuts. I've spoken to her and she told me she wants to go back to school. Um. Here. Um, here. I believe this will cover everything that has to do with you enrolling your daughter into any school of her choice. Make sure you put her in school. Thank you very much, my prince. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, um, my prince. One more thing. Nine. This is for you. My prince, this is too much for me. Yeah, this uh, will cover your upkeep. May the God bless you. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you, my prince. Thank you. Um, I'll start going now. Okay.
It's all right. It's all right. What is Amara doing in the palace with my brother Ejindu? See, oh no, you better sort it out. Because you will not like what I'm going to do to you and your family. And I'm serious. since you come, started coming to this palace. I'm sorry, my highness. Don't be too polite. Why you don't check up on me? I'm sorry, your highness, but I do not understand what you mean by checking up on you. Amara, I want us to have lunch together today. Will you be free? I'm sorry, your highness, but I just got engaged today by your brother. Please excuse me. Ejindu, someone that won't even be king. You better stick to the winning team. Man. Why are we struggling in the quest for power? Why are we killing each other instead of supporting each other? No matter who be the leader. Yeah, yeah. Brother against the brother. Yeah, because of power. Nation against the nation. People killing each other. Because of power. Kata kata everywhere. All because of what? Because of power. Kings are born. Amara, come here. I say kings are born. I have a talk with you. I want to tell you this. That relationship between you and Prince Ejindu, I want it to stop now, right? He doesn't stand a chance to become the king of this land in future. 
But between the two of them, he is a loser. Are you getting me? The picture I have of him is a rascally idiot that will use you, dump you, and disappear to foreign land. That's it. Papa, you are wrong. That I'm wrong? You are so wrong, Papa. I love Miss Ejindo so much, and he loves me too. As for that broad prince, Ejike, I can never have anything to do with him. What are you talking about? Listen, this moment I forbid you from going close to that rascally idiot. Papa, I love Prince Ejindo so much. He's a very nice man. I mean, the few times I've been with him, he did lots of things. He even cooked for me, Papa. He's a very nice man. I mean, we are no longer in the age when parents dictated or decided who will marry their children. I will marry Prince Ejindo, Papa, and there's nothing anybody can do about it. Hey, hey, hey! Amara, come here! Amara! Oh, Monato! I don't think we're going to see. We're going to sir. Oh, Monato! I don't think we're going to see. What's up, buddy? I won't accept this. I will not tolerate this. Papa, please. 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 Papa, who has called us the youth of this village and gave us two million naira to share among us? Or Prince Ejindo, who has opened a skill accusation for us in this village for us to support them as the king? Hmm. To me, when Prince Ejindo offered us a skill of accusation, he never said anything about us supporting. Uh, his bias. <clears throat> Yet we all know that's what he wants. Even if that is true, I think Prince Ejindu has offered us a future more than Prince Ejike who gave us money. That's right. Now look at me. I'm learning tailoring. My younger sister is learning how to make powder and cream. We start up a business. We we'll make our money. I think you have a point there. Because as for me, I'm learning video coverage. I've already been offered a job to cover child education. You see what I mean by Prince Ejin to offer us a future? So I will fully support him. Uh, in that case, we support him, yeah. We support him to be the king, yeah. I do. So I'm going to gather all the youth so we can put hands and support him to become our next king. Let me support you, my dear. Thank you. You have been requesting to see me. May I know why? He said again. Uduma. Hmm? I know that my mother is going to ask you whom the gods have chosen to be the next king of this kingdom. And I want you to name me the rightful successor to the throne. Prince <laughs> GK, why have you allowed the spirit of greed to possess you? Why? Hmm? I understand. 500,000 naira is too small. Hmm. I will add another 500,000 naira, hmm. making it 1 million just for you. Prince AGK, do not attempt to bribe the gods. Do not bribe the gods lest you bring down the curses of the gods upon yourself. Be warned. It flows with me, can honey. Peace and progress, Natural resources, Behind every successful community, 
Every we say man, oh, a man that make things happen. Oh, oh, oh. Behind every successful community, there is a good do man, oh, a man that make things happen. Oh, oh. A man with supernatural wisdom and understanding. A man that cares for his people, oh. oh. You love your people with all your heart, oh. You look beautiful this morning. Thank you and welcome. I came here to see you. Well, as you can see, I am all dressed. I have an appointment to catch up with. I said I came here to see you and I want you to spend the rest of your day with me today. <laughs> you must be kidding, right? Do I look like one of your palace mates? Please excuse me. Amara! Amara! this place. Eh? The man who is out to take good care of her. Eh? Why are girls like this? Is she blind? Eh? All right. All right. Just look at Umunato, Rachel Bede Brarose, Wega I will deal with Amara. Amara, I will deal with you. Did I not warn you not to step your feet into this palace? I'm sorry, my friend. It was Prince Ejindu who asked me to get something. Is this one? Who gave you the permission to speak? Leave. Amara, leave this palace. Brother, Are you mad? Are you stupid? Come on, come on, come on, leave. Are you? Are you out of your mind? How dare you? How dare you lay your filthy hands on my woman? Have you lost it? Are you mad? And let this be the last time this thing will ever happen again. King Sabon, they are not made you. Be very careful. I say King Sabon, they are not ah, made you. Because of a woman, eh? You want you want to fight your brother because of a woman. Hey, Jimmy. No problem. I will get her. Who God bless no man can cost you. Why they have left the fight for the throne for that of Onowu's daughter? I think they are fighting for Onowu's daughter because they see her as a stepping stone to the throne. How do you mean? See, I understand what she's saying. You see, the Onowu is the most influential elder. So whoever he gives his support gets what the other elders do. Exactly. Now I see why Prince Edike sent his wife back to overseas. Why fight for the throne? After all, all of them are very rich. <laughs> it's not for the money, but for power and influence. May the gods help us. Hope they will not kill themselves one of these days. You girls like, you like, don't go back to your duty. What message? Oh. Why are we fighting? Why are we struggling in the quest for power? Oh, no. no matter who be the leader, oh. yeah, yeah. Brother against the brother, oh. yeah, because of power. Oh. 